It really isn't any secret that you'll probably have to deal with a lot of marketing buzzwords whenever you make an electronics purchase these days. I'm surprised, honestly, that they haven't tried to sell us free-range motherboards. And yet, perhaps the most evident area for this is digital cameras, where if you're looking at a standalone model or even a camera that's built into a smartphone, the first thing your average big box retailer is gonna try to get you to notice is how many megapixels it has. But is this really the best way to evaluate the quality of the photo you'll end up getting? To answer, it would help to know what a megapixel actually is. It's a measure of resolution that tells you how many solid colored dots or pixels make up the image. One megapixel equals a million pixels, which may sound like a lot, but remember that a standard 1080p computer monitor can display a little over two megapixels, and many computer-grade digital cameras take pictures containing eight, 10, or even more megapixels. The biggest advantage to picking up a camera that can capture more megapixels is scaling. If you're trying to create large prints of your photos or just trying to zoom in on them in your favorite image editing program for post-processing, a higher pixel density means that your image will retain more sharpness while increasing magnification or blowing it up to stick it on a poster. Because of this, the megapixel count mattered a lot in the early days of photography, when cameras having around a single megapixel were common, and models that could capture higher resolution images were tremendously helpful if you wanted to print anything larger than a 4x6. Nowadays, though, with cameras supporting many times more megapixels being the norm, the biggest concern for novice photographers isn't whether or not the picture will scale well. Rather, it's things like noise, inaccurate color, and poor low-light performance that are still things to watch out for. Even on cameras that advertise more megapixels than the Hubble freaking telescope, as the number of pixels in an image has nothing to do with those important aspects of picture quality. Okay, we get it. More megapixels is the modern day equivalent to blast processing. But what should we pay attention to when we're buying a new camera? For starters, try and find out what kind of image sensor the camera has. This is the thing that turns the light that passes through the lens into an actual photo. Generally speaking, larger sensors are better, as the pixels on them will be larger than the smaller sensor of the same resolution, meaning more light can reach each pixel, often resulting in a crispy image. The largest sensors are typically 35 millimeters, you know, the, the, like the film ones in old school cameras, and they go down in both size and price from there. Also pay attention to the camera's dynamic range, which is a measure of how well the camera can capture light and dark portions of an image. Pictures taken on a camera with poor dynamic range will cause bright areas to look washed out and dim areas to look like black splotches. Dynamic range is commonly expressed in terms of stops, with more stops translating to your camera being more versatile in different lighting conditions. Specs like these might be hard to find at a general consumer electronics store, so this is where a little bit of online research can go a long way. And of course, other factors like optical zoom, image stabilization, and even the speed of your camera's CPUs are important to consider as well. But just remember that not even the most expensive DSLR out there will make your horrible mirror selfies look any better. Speaking of things looking better, Squarespace. Simple, beautiful, powerful, you guys know about Squarespace. 24 seven support via live chat and email if you're having trouble setting up your website and only $8 a month and it comes with a free domain if you sign up for a year. Your websites will look great because of responsive design which will make your websites scale and look great on any device like laptops, tablets, phones, computers, whatever. They even have commerce platforms if you need to have a store or a cover page option if you just need one really nice looking page for something like a cover page or a resume. Start a trial with no credit card required and start building your website today. When you decide to sign up for Squarespace, you make sure that you use our offer code, Linus, to get 10% off your first purchase. If you guys like the scale of this video or like the resolution that we came to, be sure to give it a like. If not, dislikes are fine, I guess. <laughs> Other channels that we have are Linus Tech Tips, where we review cool computer stuff and do cool things with computer stuff. We also have Channel Super Fun, where we just honestly mostly screw around. But it's entertaining, so you should check it out. In the comments down below, leave a video suggestion for what we should cover here, because sometimes it's hard to come up with ideas. And also, don't forget to subscribe and follow.